Right, so because a lot of people are still asking how to beat the first level in Hyper Tower, I thought I would simply play through it again and go through my thought process in an effort this time to create the perfect kind of tutorial video that uh, introduces you to how you should be thinking about these things and what to do, what not to do. Um, right off the bat, first thing I do is um, I look for hypercells and weapon pickups. Now I happen to know these are kind of see-through. This is a trap room because it's got all these jugs in it, or urns, and so I don't really have any incentive to enter that room right now, which is kind of silly. Okay, let's not fall off. Obviously you need to know how to run. Um, to hit those guys you need to jump as they're coming towards you, or they'll fly above you. Let's open some doors so that it becomes clear that we've been to this room before. You can stun lock guys by kicking them, which is useful against single enemies. Actually, I missed some of those shots because I was too close to the guy. Those things can blow up. It looks like it's about to, but they're a bit more resilient than you might think. Okay, we found a power-up. And uh, for the purpose of this demonstration, I'm just going to choose something very safe. Drains energy from other... T it's going to be this one. Some of them are simply um, better than others. You might want to experiment. That's infinite red ammo. We only have this thing to spend it on, so I'm not going to bother with it right now. Your survival is generally not going to come down to using every single power-up or anything like that. Nothing in this room. Okay, we got the hypercell. This guy can easily be kicked off, so we don't have to waste ammo on him. Now, if you're not quite as confident in your aim, I mean, all you need to do is reposition yourself like this. And um, keep reloading your weapon at every turn, so you're never caught without ammunition in the uh, barrel. Now, I could jump in like this, but I don't know what's in that room. And, uh, th you know, I might be forced to ha to evacuate shortly after, so instead I think it's safe to just kick in this door. Well, there was nothing in here anyway. In case you didn't know, you can kick these dispensers. We're just going to destroy them to get one extra. Okay, it's that room. Now, um, I, again, I could go that way, but I feel like this is slowly opening up to that, um, to the first really open area. Well, maybe not. It's probably still a safe rooftop. Yeah, I think it's still a safe rooftop, but whatever, let's go this way. Okay, what about this room next? We get a weapon. Um, okay, so if you're really struggling to survive, you might not actually want to switch away from the revolver for a long time, because the revolver is very ammo efficient. In principle, the crossbow, you can pick these up, right? So, it's just not entirely consistent at all times, so I'm just going to stick with the revolver. Like, if they fall off... It's difficult to pick it up, pick it back up then. Uh, the shotgun consumes a full unit of ammo and you can't 
replenish it. That is the longest pendulum I think I've ever seen. My god. Look at that thing. Um, okay, so we get an early warning on, on that guy. Obviously, eliminate all enemies that you can um, ahead of time. That, that's a slightly tricky jump, so... I mean, I feel like I can do it pretty safely. We're having the uh, two backup jumps, but... Actually, just going for safe movement is one critical thing that you can do in order to survive. Uh, there I just blew this up. Well, I had two different kinds of ammo that I was missing. There's a 2 in 3 chance I would have gotten one of those two kinds of ammo, so that's good enough for me. That's when I, I will um, open one of those. Okay, I've just heard somebody. Where are they? Um, can I snipe them? I'm not just going to rush in. Maybe I could snipe this guy by hugging, first of all, that's this room. That's, um, let's try something like this. Okay, clearly this guy's gonna have an angle on me before I get a chance to blow away that guy up there. So this, this one takes preference. Um, I can, he's got a shield, but I, if I really aim carefully, then I'll be able to hit him. Hmm, but, uh... Let's just call that shot a little too tricky and look for better opportunities elsewhere first. So we've been to this part. Okay, so what about that rooftop that we saw earlier? This is a, a, a very small step upwards. And so I'm thinking there can't be any reason not to be here right now. And this might give us a good angle on one of these guys. Nothing up there. See, I'm, I'm checking first. Guy in there. Try not to expose yourself to a lot of angles all at once. Let's try to use both of our guns at every opportunity. Again, that guy over there. Maybe now would be the time. I need a steady platform to stand on. That'll do. Yeah, so obviously use all of your, or both of your weapons so that you won't run out of ammo so quickly. Uh, have I been here? Yeah, I think that was a shotgun. Okay, uh, looks like this ladder might be a safe way to approach this area. Anybody up here? Actually, nobody that I can see. Again, who made the noise? Let's first eliminate this threat. You coming to me? If you don't think you can land that shot, just lure him closer. Okay. A guy back there. One right behind here. If that was a barrel, I could pro... Um, it's a little bit risky because it's so close, but in principle... Who's that up there? Okay, I can't stand still, so I'm just going to take a shot. Get somewhere safe. And let's approach them from a different angle now. Another little guy. These open areas are really very, very um, dangerous. Okay, look, a freebie again. Would have been, but the uh, the bullets are a little bit wider than you might think. Okay, and then the invisible guy looked like he's in a position where I could kind of snipe him. Mm, okay. I'm playing very conservative now, just to show what the good, what the kind of best practices are. 
that was the uh, guys inside there. Okay, what about this ladder? Does this give us an easy shot? Yes, it does. Like that. That guy dies. And only one other guy is shooting at us. That means it's probably fairly safe to peek here. Okay, we see more guys down the range. Completely risk averse there. Or, or kind of risk free, rather. Um, gonna need some yellow ammo soon. Second invisible guy. No, no, it's just someone further down. That's funny, it looked like he dodged me. Actually, something maybe pushed him. And the freebie. Right, so we've cleared this level more or less. Uh, I'm just gonna risk one of these now. In case you're gonna give us yellow ammo. Yeah, there's a pretty good chance. I think this spawns, yeah, it spawns three different kinds of things. So I was missing more than one. That means it's, uh, it's a good chance. That one can wait. I'd love uh, a weapon to replace the other one with. The uh, flare gun. Okay, I'm not gonna... I was gonna kick him, but that would have awoken. That would have uh, aggroed the uh, silkworm. So instead, let's just set him on fire a second time. Chill. Whoa, okay. He blew through that wall a little bit faster than I was anticipating. <laughs> These guys don't blow up, it's just a matter of remembering who does that and who doesn't. But um, luckily the level 1 enemies are not, generally are not going to blow up. Only the ones with the uh, jetpacks do, I think. Okay, we finally get our wish with the weapons. Up there. Let's open some more doors. Could, could try and, uh, well, whatever, there's a ladder. Ladders are fairly safe. Climb a little bit at a time. But this isn't. This is like a middle le middle level. The the levels on which the 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 hordes are spawned are at steady intervals. And this guy. Okay. Plasma pistol. Very good. All these pistol weapons have great economy, so I like them a lot. I thought it was four shots. And those guys look like they have a shield, but it, I don't think it actually functions as a, sh as a shield. It doesn't matter what part of their body you're um, hitting. I could take out some of these guys. Maybe I will soon. Ah, you, you've spotted me. Alright. Why don't you come a little bit closer? I think those guys actually do come closer. That was three shots, wasn't it? I mean, if you're getting bored playing like this, then you can always go for more risks. Alright, I don't know who's shooting me from where, so I'm just backing up a little bit. Did I kill that guy? I guess I did. Could shoot him, but maybe we won't find that necessary. I think there's another hypercell up there. Ooh, that's exciting. Look at that. I like it when the architecture... Just that little bit of randomness. Or I guess there's a lot of randomness to it. 
upgrades features like that. That thing is over there somewhere. Every time you hit somebody, it um, they're stunned for a minute. At least, I guess most guys are. I guess there could be a downside to opening all these doors if you wanted to cover from these flying guys. Alright, time to take another one of you down. That was the one that we were shooting at earlier because it was almost dead. Um, can anyone remember where the hyper upgrade station was at? So that guy will blow up. He's got those flames. That'll help you remember that, I guess. From the jetpack. Yeah, where was that upgrade station? Right down here. You can tell these rooms apart based on this type of entrance. Either if you see a room like this, it's either an upgrade room, an upgrade station room, or... Can it also be a hypercell room? I think maybe in this build it can only be an upgrade station, actually. Um, since I'm only beating level 1 right now. I'll go for that safety play again. Mm. Approaching the next open tier before we go up there. Um, first, we want to remind ourselves there is a uh, mini boss. See cover. Now here I s I swapped weapons middle and middle of the reload because because I just needed more firepower there and then. I think have I maybe I haven't actually. Endless jumps. Okay, well if we want, now we can use the endless jumps of course. I mean, I don't suppose it's very difficult to dodge. Take out a few guys and then let's land somewhere safely. He went in that room, I think. Silkworm has spotted us. Oh, it's up there. Okay, that's kind of bad because... Because of the healing, we want to be able to burst him down. Missing multiple kinds of ammo, so let's blow that up. What's over here? Shotgun. Bit of a letdown. Mm. 
You're still over there. So let's actually, I'm going to take the opposite corner approach then. I'm just trying to be extra safe here. That wasn't actually a safe play because I could have fallen. I'm going to find the safest um, way to approach that guy over there, which is... But n without leaving this general area. has to be these ladders here. That was the guy in indoors that we just saw. Someone up here? Okay, there's going, only going to alert one guy over here. I kind of just wandered into his line of sight. Line of fire. Ten shots, I think that was. That right about clears this. The kick, the effect of the kick lasts a little while after the animation has started. Yeah, I thought I heard someone else. A little bit careless. Well, we got lots more plasma at least. Then the silkworm. Um, yeah, I have an angle from around here as well. The regen will kick in, but I'm not putting myself at any kind of risk here. I wonder if I can actually kill him with this weapon. I don't think I can. I think it's regening too fast. So I have to use the other one. Luckily I'm full on ammo. Just keep moving in one direction like this. And there's nothing he can do to even hit you. If you can't do that anymore, just jump over the bullets. So that's pretty basic. The worm does not blow up. Um, hmm, okay, another hypercell. This dust devil can be used to, to bounce off, if you want. Just grabbing onto these ladders was actually pretty tricky to learn to do initially. But I suppose a lot of games have that, that kind of thing. So no reason to burst into this room through here, I mean if you really want to play it safe. This looks like maybe another trap room, but it's not because there's already guys here. So just remember to get out of the way before they burst through the wall, or, or kind of jump around like that if you think the wall is about to, dis to be destroyed. Let's... where was that invisible guy? Oh, right over there. Running out of yellow here. Okay, it's now this room. I don't particularly like this position because I don't have a lot of room for dodging and once they blow out that wall, you know, it's not so great. This way I can see much more clearly what's going on in the room, first of all. And uh, dodging was easier. Now there's only one guy left, so I can just come in. Or two guys. Okay, let's see what this weapon is first. Grenades. Okay, I'm happy to keep just one type of... 
of um, pistol. That's enough by way of pistols. That's interesting. I haven't seen this kind of double balloon spawn in a very long time. There used to be balloons all over the place. I like that. They do look like they have guys in them. So we want to fight those balloons not from an angle like this, but from up there somewhere. So we have the high ground. Okay, that guy's not of no concern to us right now. I don't think I'm coming back here, so I might as well just try to try try my luck with this thing. Actually, right there, I could have. If you can't pick up ammo, what you can do is reload your weapon before they disappear, and that way you can at least, um, you know, collect one more. Replenish your ammo by that a little bit. Alright, so how about up here? Another upgrade room. Is it two already though? No, it's still just one. The focus, yeah, as you can see I don't really use it. And I've explained before, it's because I don't feel like I have the fingers for that. I have use bound on mouse two instead of I don't actually, so I don't use, I can't show you my binds right now, but uh, mouse 2 is use, and uh, this I find useful because you end up opening doors so much, and also because it makes grabbing onto ladders easier. That's the way I do it. I mean, this sounds good if you're struggling with ammunition of course. This one's a double-edged sword because you can accidentally en end up spending all of your red ammo without realizing it, but it can also save your life, so uh, this is the uh, the dummy pick. I mean, one extra life, obviously. I, w I wonder how that works if you fall off. I can't remember how it works in general. Anyway, it'll give us all of our um, yellow back, so that's nice. Another room up there, or another room and another um, weapon I meant to say. It could be a machine gun if we were lucky. Let's see if we can hit these shots. Oh, you can actually reach me. That's too far. How about that? I think that's going to hit him. Yeah. See, now this is a much better angle. There's still someone alive in there, somehow. Oh, that other guy must have uh, blocked him. Or blocked the... Uh, Yeah, I don't personally use the crosshair, I just look for when it looks like the target is at the uh, cent in the middle of the screen. I've done this with a couple other games, I do it because it's more immersive and because I find the crosshair sometimes get his gets in the way. Right there, I took a shot at a guy and he didn't die, so I rushed him instead and started kicking him to, s to ke keep him um, stunned. This is the uh, helipad. You can fight this boss and it takes you to the uh, secret path through the game. I won't say anything more about that right now in fear of spoilers. But um, let's not fight him right now. He's quite tough, you have to keep moving. He's considerably tougher than the silkworm. And another endless jumps. Okay, let's just use this to... Uh, I kind of would like to... Yeah, machine gun right here. Okay, let's get the machine gun instead of that. Why not? I don't mind this combination. The machine gun now takes the slot where I keep the weapon that has good economy. Replacing the pistol in that slot. Okay, it's time we finish this. I guess let's keep topped up. So 
so we just need to destroy this. So yeah. I keep forgetting that it blows up. Right, as you can see, those those things down there show you where you need to go next. I wonder if that's actually new. I didn't notice a uh, an update though. What was that? Oh, hello. I got plenty of health. Stay away from that guy. This is um. I don't know how many jumps I had left there. I almost messed that up. That was a little bit too casual. Funny how one grenade didn't kill the other one up there. It might be about what part of him you hit. Okay. So we're gonna go through here. We don't have a lot of ammunition. I usually don't bother fighting these guys. And then that's a little bit tricky, but... You have to kind of have momentum going that way. Why is this in black? Whoa. Why, why did that happen? Does that always happen? I could have sworn. Okay, so now just be be wary of what's about to happen next, which is uh, this final ring is going to fall. So what you want to do is, while you're killing him, make sure you have both of your extra jumps. That's all you need to do. So now we're falling, jump, and that's all we need to do. And. I'm taking a lot of hurt here for no particular reason. You jump into this and then you crouch to get back down if it won't let you. Whoa. And then you hit goodness. Then you hit that thing and it's finished. Thank you very much.